the function f is defined by f of x is 4 to the power of x. Question a finds the value of the inverse of f of 8 expressions in the form p over q, where p and q are integers. It's not necessary to find an expression for the inverse to find the value of the inverse at the point y, because we know that for a function and its inverse, x and y interchange each other. It means that for the inverse, x is 8 and y is required, and it becomes uh, that y is 8 and x is required for a function, and the value of this x is equal to uh, the required value of the inverse. So we need to solve for x, and we can see that it's an exponential equation, and if it is possible to represent it as some number to some power is equal to the same number to another power, then we can equate exponents or powers. Or in general, we can apply a log to any base on both sides. And we can notice that 8 is 2 cubed and 4 is 2 squared and to the power of x it becomes 2 to the power of 2x. Hence, we can conclude that 3 is 2x, hence x is 3 over 2 without any logs as required. But if you apply a log to any base, let, let it be ln, so applying ln ln, it becomes ln of 8 is ln of 4 to the power of x. And a log to the base a or b to the power of x is x log a b. So it becomes It becomes ln of 8, it's uh, x uh, times ln of 4, x is uh, ln of 8 over ln of 4, it's correct, but if it is required uh, without ln, it can be simplified, 8 is uh, 2 cubed, ln is over 2 squared, and it becomes 3 ln of 2 over 2 ln of 2, ln of 2 cancels, and you get uh, the same result. The next, the function g of x is defined by uh, g of x is 1 plus log to the base 2 of x, x is positive uh, and real. Question b, find an expression for the inverse of g. So to find an expression for the inverse, we interchange x and y, and g is y, it becomes x, so x is 1 plus log to the base uh, 2 of y, and this new y is the required uh, the inverse function. So we need to solve for this new y. And it becomes x minus 1 is log to the base 2 of y, and uh, just by definition, log a, b, e, c, a to the power of c is b. So y, and y is uh, the inverse of g, is 2 to the power of x minus 1, or it's uh, 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of 1. The next, describe a sequence of transformations that transforms the graph of uh, y is the inverse of g, this, to x, to the graph y is f of x. What is f of x? It's 4 to the power of x or 2 to the power of 2x. And you can see that we need x to be 2x and it looks like uh, fun uh, for a func it's another function it's just in general function to be function of 2x so uh, it's uh, a half 2 to the power of x becomes a half 2 to the power of 2x and then this should be what without a half or uh, just uh, um, there must be one instead of a half and uh, it must be what multiplied by two in front so that two multiplied by the previous function and hence we get two to the power of two x and it's uh, like two to the power of uh, uh, sorry two multiplied by some function it's another function just in general and it's what is vertical stretch.
so so it becomes like this a half times 2 to the power x becomes a half 2 to the power of 2x and then 2 times a half times 2 to the power of 2x which is 2 to the power of 2x it's not necessary to write this in this so the required sequence is horizontal contraction by factor of by a factor of 2 with y axis invariant invariant it means all points on uh, y uh, axis remain uh, the same you may say contraction by factor of 2 or stretch by factor of a half but if we consider function of 2x this coefficient it's uh, uh, contraction not stretch followed by now we do 2 times uh, some function and it's vertical stretch by factor of 2 with x axis invariant why uh, it's um, strange it's because uh, uh, for current value of y if you consider 2 times uh, y uh, y value becomes 2 times uh, greater so it's a vertical stretch by factor of 2 definitely you may say uh, uh, stretch or contraction but this coefficient it's stretch here uh, these two steps are interchangeable uh, we can do a vertical uh, stretch uh, firstly then horizontal uh, uh, contraction it doesn't matter but in general order does matter and usually we start uh, we start with uh, uh, x argument uh, horizontal as and then uh, for y the next question c shows that f of g of x is 4x squared it's a composite function and we can rewrite it as f of g of x and it means that we should substitute expression for g of x for x into f and f is what 4 to the power of x and instead of x we write 1 plus log to the base 2 of x and it is equal to first of all it's 4 to the power 1 multiplied by 4 to the power of log to the base 2 of x and as it log to disappear we can use um, what formula that log uh, a to the power of log to the base a of b is equal to b and if first of all this uh, must be equal to this and if there is some c in front here it becomes as uh, a power of b here so so it becomes 4 times uh, 4 it's 2 squared squared and to the power and uh, it's uh, 2 to the power of 2 and uh, to the power of uh, log so 2 is multiplied by log to the base 2 of x and it becomes 4 times 2 to the power of log to the base 2 of x squared and now it's 4 times x squared as required the next the function h of x is defined by the following diagram shows part of the graph of h let r be region enclosed by the graph of h and the x-axis between the lines x is 1 and x is 3 question d shows that 2x minus 1 plus uh, is equal to this definitely we need just a common denominator of the left hand side and 2x minus 1 plus uh, 1 over is common denominator 
is uh, 2x plus 1 so it becomes 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 1 and plus this 1 and we can see that it's a formula a minus b times a plus b and it's a squared minus b squared so it's 2x squared so for x squared minus 1 squared plus 1 over 2x plus 1 and it's uh, 4x squared over 2x plus 1 as required Hence, otherwise, find the area of R given the answer is the form P plus Q multiplied by ln of R, where P, Q, and R are positive rational. So we know that when the curve is above, the x axis integral is positive and is equal to the area or, uh, between the curve and uh, the x axis. If the curve is below, the x axis integral is negative, but by absolute value is equal to the area between the curve and x-axis you should take it into account and here area is directly integral from 1 to 3 over what 4x squared over 2x plus 1 dx and definitely we should use the previous result which is what 2x minus 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 dx and it can be easily integrated 2x integral is just x squared minus uh, 1 integral is just x and how to integrate this it uh, it's similar to what 1 over x dx but you can see that x is just multiplied by 2 and there is plus 1 and it's called function of ax plus b where uh, function is uh, 1 over x and uh, we can apply the same uh, formula as it would be just 1 over x and it's ln of the absolute value of x plus c keep uh, this argument x plus b but 1 over a arises in front otherwise you should use substitution u with u uh, is uh, 2x plus 1 but it's not necessary because it's just plus ln and 2x plus 1 is positive so absolute value not required 2x plus 1 but 1 over 2 arises in front a coefficient uh, in front of x and limits and substituting the upper limit we get uh, 3 squared 9 minus 3 6 plus a half ln of uh, 7 minus substituting uh, the lower limit it's what 1 minus 1 is 0 uh, plus a half so finally it's a minus a half ln of 3 and we can factor out a uh, half and uh, we can see that it's ln minus ln and it's a single ln of division 7 over 3 and we can see that we get in the form is required p plus q multiplied by ln of r where p q and r are positive rational and that's all for the question